back to the old Swedes farm. I uh, want to give you an update. Remember uh, our last video? Here, you guys. Um, she was wheezing and carrying on all yesterday, and we gave her all the medicine, uh, gave her the water, food, kept her separated from all the girls for all night. This is literally 12, 15 hours later. And I came out a few hours ago and checked on her and nothing, not a sound. It's appeared like a full recovery. So I don't know what it was. Again, maybe you saw the other video and uh, if you saw saw that and you know what it was, let me know. Quit biting me. Man, <laughs> these guys want to take my legs off. <laughs> Holy smokes. Um, if you know what it was, put a comment down below, but just wanted to let you know a couple things. We're going to do one more thing. We're, when we take her out, I'm going to hold her. Holly's going to put some more of that uh, Vet RX on, uh, you know, on the skin of her, around her face, under her wings. I guess that's a good way to get it into her. Um, we're going to watch her, obviously. One thing just for, for all of you, if you're new to chickens, one thing that we've done is we invested in this nice little, I think it's a dog cage yep. or something. Um, anytime there's something that seems to be going on, we take it serious and we separate them and uh, you should too. Uh, you never know what it is, we're still learning a lot, but you never know what it is. You can only find so much on the internet, uh, depending on what it is. Separate them, quarantine them, get them out there and uh, figure out what it is and then uh, try to fix it and move on. So anyways, thanks for the ideas and all that. Um, Holly's dying being crouched down <laughs> here, so we're going to let go. But anyways, thanks again for watching. Uh, if you've got ideas on what it was, let us know. She's aching to get out and her friends are aching to get her out too. Alright, take care.